Welcome back. Today we're reacting to some more Kurzgesagt in a nutshell. And today we are reacting to Why Don't We Shoot Nuclear Waste Into the Sun? I have a pretty good guess, and I think it involves Rocket Go Boom. <laughs> wow, I am not funny at all. Be sure to support the original content creator. Watch the original video if you haven't. The limited edition 12,023 Kurzgesagt calendar is here. They have a calendar? Us to make videos free for everyone. I think so I knew that actually. For for yeah, yeah, because they made a video about the years and arguing why it should be like 10,000 years more in the future. The world. Okay, Here you have to get me one of those. Labs, we test very important ideas to see what happens when you blow things up or play with black holes. <laughs> Many of you suggested that we look into an idea that sounds reasonable. Shooting nuclear waste into space. I think it's a horrible idea. Why is it a horrible idea? It's a horrible idea because rockets sometimes fail and blow up on the launch pad. And if that happens, we have the biggest problem of all, nuclear waste spread out everywhere. Or they could blow up higher up in our atmosphere, where it would be carried for miles and miles and miles downwind. I think overall it's just not a good idea. There's too much risk involved. If the risk could be mitigated to the point where we had a 100% success rate on rocket launch or very close to it, or if we use some other method that wasn't a rocket but maybe some sort of railgun launch system like they discussed in the, uh, uh, the Dyson Sphere video, if we had a more reliable way to get the waste outside of the Earth's bounds, then I think it would be a good idea. But rockets have a non-negligible failure rate. However, if we could use a system like a railgun or something that potentially has very little, if not any, risk. I, I, there's always risk, but it has very little risk. Then maybe that might be a better idea. But I think using a rocket itself, bad choice. It's one of those concepts that seems like an easy fix for one of the main problems with the nuclear energy. But it turns out this idea is not just bad, but horribly bad. And it gets worse the longer you think about it. Why is that? <laughs> okay, so I was right. It's a bad idea. <laughs> now they can tell me why. All the reasons I didn't think of, too. What is nuclear waste? Nuclear waste is a fuzzy term and comes in categories which vary from country to country. But in general, there are three broad levels. Okay, so there's three of them. is low-level nuclear waste, tools, gloves, or trash used at a nuclear facility that could be weakly contaminated with some short-lived radioactivity. This stuff is generally safe for normal disposal. 7% okay. is intermediate level nuclear waste, mostly materials that have been in close proximity to a reactor core long enough to become dangerously radioactive. And the thing that really sucks about this is that things stay down, reactive for glass or concrete ever. And stored I mean, underground. not forever, so but for a very long time. Nuclear waste is similar to toxic byproducts from other industries. Not great, not terrible. We can handle it. The remaining 3% is where our problems begin. High-level nuclear waste is very concentrated spent fuel taken out of a reactor core. Formerly uranium, it's now made of various dangerous and often highly radioactive elements. Mm -hmm. As a bonus, it's also incredibly hot and not easy to handle at all. And it's also not anything like it's portrayed in video games and in movies. It's not stored in some leaky barrel that's oozing green goo. <laughs> I love how movies and video games portray that. It's just so ridiculous. This is what we want to shoot into space. All in all, around 440 active nuclear reactors create about 11,000 tons of high-level nuclear waste each year. Since 11,000 tons? That's a lot. 100,000 tons of dangerous radioactive waste. Most countries are dealing with it by not dealing with it and kicking the can towards the future. Jeez. Great. So, let's launch it into space. According to scientists, That's so space much. is big and nobody is there. <laughs> so... You know, it's technically not untrue. <laughs> According to scientists, space is big. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, that took me completely off guard. 
According to scientists, space is big, and nobody lives there, so it seems perfect for yeeting away this mess. There are Yeet a few it. tiny problems, though. Problem one: stuff ain't cheap. Even though space flight yeah, that's a, is that's a good point that I hadn't discussed is that it still costs a lot to launch just a to get rocket. Just something into low Earth orbit costs on average about four thousand dollars per kilogram. Wow. Putting that into perspective, it costs about one thousand six hundred dollars to mine, separate, and fabricate one kilogram of nuclear fuel. So launching waste into space has suddenly made nuclear fuel for reactors way more expensive and yep. greatly increased the cost of the electricity they produce. Someone's got to pay for it. The money's got to come from somewhere. Cost at least one hundred million dollars per year to deal with all the four hundred and forty operational nuclear power plants. High-level nuclear waste would cost some 44 billion dollars per year for space launch before packaging transport and security costs are added okay let's pretend we don't care currently we couldn't shoot all the nuclear waste into space even if we wanted to there just aren't enough rockets in 2021 we saw a record 135 launches into space what if we repurposed each of those rockets and filled them all with i had no waste, idea we launched that many times that's one in three days there was a rocket the launch is nearly 800 tons. that's crazy we'd need at least 14 times more rockets to handle just today's nuclear waste let alone get rid of the hundreds of thousands of tons in temporary storage and we don't use nuclear power as much as we should. I know it's a contentious topic, but if you believe otherwise, you're wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, mostly. But, yeah, it, nuclear power, it's just, it makes so much sense. It's so much more efficient and safer and environmentally friendly than every other power source that we have that's scalable. So if we were to actually scale it up to where it probably should be, you know, a, a much larger percentage of our current usage, then, I mean, we would have to deal with even more waste. What if we used a railgun type of system to launch it? But the more I think about that, that wouldn't actually work because the rail system, we could probably get things into orbit. I don't know if we could actually make something leave Earth's orbit using a rail launch system. If you know, let me know in the comments. We would need to create entire new space industries to keep up with the demand for giant, toxic space trash trucks. And it gets worse. Problem two, space is hard. <laughs> we only made the calculation for lower Space is very hard. We send most of our rockets and satellites. Littering the space around Earth with thousands of casks of spent nuclear fuel would be a nightmare for space junk management. Wasn't the title of the video to launch it into the sun? Or did I misread that? There's still a little bit of atmosphere causing a tiny bit of drag, so we might have nuclear waste raining down from space within just a few years. Experts would call this a huge problem. <laughs> Clearly, we have to launch our waste further. I love these guys. If we wanted to send it to perhaps the moon, we either need way more rockets or we need to build much bigger ones, yep. making it even more expensive. A single Saturn V, the rocket used by the Apollo Suddenly program, nuclear fuel is no longer billion adjusted for inflation per launch cheap. could get about 43.5 tons from the Earth to the moon. So we'd need about well, 260 Saturn You'd never turn a profit off it because you would of course, drive the cost of energy way up. For nuclear waste tipped rockets kind of makes a huge mess. So maybe don't aim for anything. Space is empty. Do we really need a target? Shooting I have a theory on this. It's a bad idea because even though the chances seem astronomically small that we would run into that waste again, that's actually not the case. Because I just watched a video about the Saturn V rocket, I believe, and one of the engineers who designed that. I believe it was by Smarter Every Day. If I remember to, I will link that video in the description. Things that we launch off a planet tend to come back, just the way the orbits work and, and the gravitational bounds, they tend to come back. It might not be right away, but eventually it's very likely to intersect its origin point again. And they saw that, or they believe that they saw that with the Saturn V rockets. One of those ones that was launched there, one of the stages, they actually believe had went and kind of circled the moon a bit and came back eventually and uh they they think long term that it will eventually crash back into either the earth or the moon 
but it came back into orbit around the Earth, and it wasn't supposed to do that. So my guess here is that it's probably a horrible idea, because the chances are higher than you'd think that it will come back and interact with the Earth again. Waste in any random direction is, you guessed it, also a bad idea. Orbits are loops, which means they have a tendency to come back to where they started. Put enough in the sky in random directions, and you'll get one back eventually. So we'd want to launch our nuclear waste deep into space, which means we need even bigger rockets that would be even more expensive. Not that we would be completely safe then, Earth might run into these interplanetary caskets at some time in the far future and experience a pretty meteor shower made from radioactive dust. Okay, how about we shoot it into the sun? Ironically, the sun is pretty hard to hit. While the sun has very strong gravity, everything on Earth is moving with respect to the sun, Makes including sense. the rockets that we launch, meaning a rocket would have to cancel out all the orbital motion it has around the sun so it can stop orbiting and fall in. And that means because bigger this, rockets. It's actually yep. easier to launch a rocket entirely out of the solar system than it is to launch it into the sun. Really? But to do either of these things, we need even I guess that rockets, kind of makes sense. The biggest we've ever built. Hmm, nothing works. The thing is, it gets even worse. Problem three, rockets go... Rocket engineering <laughs> I love the comments in this video. The Apollo era. We've made so serious, safe. too. We've mostly replaced the toxic explosive cancer fuels of the past decades with much saner mixes of liquid oxygen and hydrogen or kerosene. Okay. The newest designs even land themselves so that they can be reused. I do have to say that's and really yet, cool. If you ever watch those videos, it's amazing. There were 11 failures, Oof. which means that a sizable number of our rockets carrying high-level radioactive waste would be exploding on the launch pad or yep. in the worst case, disassembling at high altitude. Don't have a really high success rate Each failure would we would need a hundred percent or close bubble, to it but instead of being contained under a slab of concrete spread throughout the atmosphere radioactive yep. particles so our current methods better than risking that most would fall into the ocean but some would land on the inhabited parts of the world they could cover farmlands and get concentrated into our food or mm -hmm. enter our water supply which is well bad Imagine regular <laughs> it is bad, yeah. Nuclear disasters happening. People wouldn't be happy. Conclusion and opinion part. Nuclear waste is scary, but the fear of it and horrible ideas like shooting it into space reveals how bad we are at understanding risk. Yeah. Because the largest amounts of radioactive elements like uranium and radon are actually released by coal. Burning millions of tons of coal each year leaves ash as a waste product that includes about 36,000 tons of radioactive materials. Less radioactive than high-level nuclear waste, but there's also a lot more of it, and it's handled way less carefully. Mm. Some of this ash is caught by filters, but most is simply pushed back into leaky mines, shoved into piles exposed to the wind, or poured into ponds... There's a lot of pollution in, in other trees. methods that we don't think about. Six kilometers of an ash pile increases your cancer risk up to 2,000 times over the acceptable limit. And a lot of people argue that when they're arguing against nuclear power. They say, well, all oh, the radiation is so dangerous. Well, it's, it's really not, though. Our current methods aren't that bad. You know, we treat it very carefully. We put it underground. It's very safe. And the couple nuclear disasters that we have experienced, Chernobyl, Fukushima, they've been because of human error and poor designs. A combination of those two. Modern nuclear reactors don't have the same flaws. You shouldn't be able to cause a reactor to go critical by one person messing up. It should not be able to happen. That's one of the things with uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The news outlets were all over when uh, Russia was bombing some of the nuclear power plants or bombing near them. And they were, you know, saying, hey, these reactors could go critical and cause a huge nuclear disaster. And it simply is not true. Now, don't get me wrong. I fully condemn what's happening in Ukraine and Russia should not be doing the things that they are. That scare tactic of the nuclear power plants going critical because they're hit with a bomb. It, it's simply not true. The way that they're designed today, if you lose power, if something happens to the systems, 
it shuts off it 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 loses power it doesn't there's no possible way that that could cause a chain reaction the only the only way that that could be critical is if the actual reaction chamber or reactor chamber itself was breached in order to do that you would need weapons much larger than what they're using the amount of concrete of reinforced concrete that's in place is ridiculous your conventional mortars and stuff are not piercing it it's just not going to happen and this is on top of other toxic chemicals like heavy metals and of course their massive co2 emissions and yet while nuclear energy is flawed and its current form may only be a transitory technology nuclear power plants are a harder sell than coal nuclear waste and the lack of willingness to deal with it are a real issue it's not insurmountable though there are good methods to handle it it seems like to be a mindset that's pretty common is, ah, our kids will figure it out our kids kids but however we ultimately deal with this issue we hope one thing is clear which is quite Shooting unfortunate because we've got a lot of problems because of that mindset ideas ever Researching this crazy thing, conducting all of these important tests, and of course, creating this video, took us around 2,000 hours, which is... 2,000 hours? 2,000 hours. 2,000. Is insane. For That's like a year video. work time. And we couldn't do it without you. Wow. If you like what you just saw, these you guys can continue are your science journey with one. I absolutely class. love their content. Trees. Yeah, th these guys are amazing. So I, I figured going into this that shooting our nuclear waste into the sun or into space in general was a bad idea. The idea that I had was because rockets are unreliable, they do fail, they do blow up. But they brought up some really great points about the cost of it, which I hadn't even considered. And they also brought up how if we did successfully get it out into space and it has a very high likelihood of coming back to us eventually, which I had also not considered. If you did like this video, please leave a like. It helps me out more than you know. And if you do enjoy this content and want to see more of it, please subscribe. Thank you. I appreciate it. And have yourself a wonderful day.